On the bottom left, you have the navigator. This is similar to the outliner in Maya. So you see all the objects that you have in your scene. Uh, some categories may not show up. That means you'd have no object uh, from that category uh, showing up. So here, for example, I just have a uh, skeletal mesh, so just a skin mesh with uh, bones. If I jump to a more complete scene with an actual uh, rigged character with this control rig, you can see here that I have more stuff in the navigator. I have uh, the actual character, its control rig, its character extensions. I have a bunch of constraints, shaders, materials, poses, everything. And in the navigator, you'll also have your different takes. Uh, Motion Builder is uh, great for working on multiple takes at the same time or multiple animations. And this is where you can switch. Or you can also switch here directly uh, on the timeline. You have a drop down here. If you have a, an object selected, uh, note that when you change here uh, takes in the, in the navigator, you actually lose your selection because when you double click here, it's actually uh, like if you were selecting the, the take itself. You can see that here in the properties, it shows me uh, that I have the, the typos selected or the, uh, some other takes. Um, whereas here, if I select an object and I just switch here, I still keep my selection. So if you need to copy paste something from one take to the other and you don't want to lose your selection every time, you can uh, do it here. Otherwise, if you have an object selected and you want to keep uh, seeing its its properties or if you're in the F curve, so the graph editor, and you still want to see its curves uh, while unselecting or selecting another object, or jumping to another take, you can actually lock the views here with the little uh, lock icon. Okay, and now when I unselect, I still see the properties of my root control. So it's um, pretty useful if you want to compare uh, the values of one object with another object. For example, if I select the left foot here, I lock its transformations, and I select the other foot, and I can compare. I can see that here. Uh, it, it's minus 16 and on the other one it's it's a plus 16 and I see that the other values are the same so I know that the feet are properly aligned for, inst for instance. Another example is if you wanted to create a constraint um, so back into the navigator constraints right click insert constraints for example a parent-child constraint <coughs> let's say I want to uh, constrain the root locator to the pelvis. So I can select the pelvis FK bone here. But if I double click it, it's actually going to be selected. So I'm going to lose my display here. And let's, let's say I want to stay locked on the constraint. Uh, I can lock it here. And then when I double select that, I can still hold X and drag it into the source, the, the parent, for instance. Or actually just um, just one click it instead of double clicking and this way you don't lose your selection because you you select uh, in the viewport but not in the properties so that that's another way of doing it but you can use the locker if you need so all x drag into the, the child and then you can activate the, the constraint here so in the navigator uh, under constraints, you can organize your constraints uh, with folders, which is very nice. Insert folder, you can call it like, I don't know, uh, uh, space uh, switching, for example, if you do a space switching setup and put all your constraints in there. Unfortunately, you don't have the same with the takes. So for the takes, uh, sometimes you want to have, I don't know, row mocap and next to uh, whip and then you have maybe done. Uh, right so personally i have like temp editing done so i actually create uh, just a, a normal take I, I duplicate an existing take and i call it like uh yeah i don't know bin uh with with some dashes this way it's easier to organize your takes and then i, I drag them around like this and I, I move them to one category to the other as i work on on several takes at the same time uh, you can do the same trick with your poses 
So I, I sometimes create an empty, just a pose that I, I know I'm not going to use. And I use, uh, yeah, three dashes. And then I, I kind of clearly see, OK, I have my fingers category, I have my temp category, and then I have the actual poses that I use a lot for like the main idols of the character, for example. In the navigator, note that when you select one object, uh, you only select that very object and not all it, its children. So it's not like Maya when, where you select something, like the rest of the chain, the, the hierarchy is kind of selected. Um, so for example, if you want to delete something, let's say I want to delete this entire character, um, I want to right click and say select branches. This way I selected everything that was uh, related to that character. Uh, so not just the character definition itself, but the control rig, the character extensions, etc. Now I could uh, delete that, for instance. So it's the same with the folders, if you have different folders under constraint. Right-click, select branches, and select all the child uh, folders, all the children. 